mean, a lot of this stuff is locked up in my mum's house most of the time. I just think it's really, really a nice thing to do for if you're a snooker fan and you love your snooker to just to, to come here and have a little look around, you know. Some trophies here that I've won over the years. Obviously, you've got the UK, the World Championships, the Premier League, which are like important tournaments to me. But I suppose the most important one would be this little one here. And I know it doesn't look much, but this is the, my very first trophy. December 85, so I would have been just about 10 then. I was over the moon with it, I was like, my first ever trophy. And uh, yeah, I was buzzing, you know, so that's probably the most important trophy to me out of all of them. I like this one. It's a proper turbine, this one, mate. There you go. The rocket. So this was a table that my dad bought me when I was 12, 13, so it was a proper match table. So at first I had like a club table, which was still good. But then when my dad got me this, I was like, oh, so nice to find a proper match table. Oh, yeah. Got some unbelievable memories on it. I think it, even up there in there, you see a few dents on the table. That's where I smashed my cue just before the Masters. I missed a shot and I just went... Pssst. So, uh, yeah, there's, uh, it's taken a lot of abuse as well. <laughs> We're just going like, to keep it here for a month, you know, while the World Championship's on. I think it, it works well. The fans are, uh, are able to come and watch the snooker. And I think while the snooker's on, any snooker fan, knowing what's in this shop, is going to want to come and visit and, and see up close some of the stuff that really means a lot to me. So this one was when I beat Kyra and Wilson in the Champions of Champions in 2018, 10-9. So every time you win a tournament, or you have a 147, they obviously say, like, do you want the balls? And I'm like, yeah, thank you very much. And then we've got these ones from when I had the 147, which I class always as my best 147. That's the one I put the last red with the left hand. So, yeah, that's from the Welsh Open 2014. So this was Jean and Anne. Yeah, we met these at the waterfront, and she came up to me. And she said, oh, mate, I was like, oh, you're Alex's sister. Wow. I remember that as it happens. And then she gives us this piece of chalk here. And we just stuck that in a nice little frame as well, because obviously, you know, he's not with us no more, but at least, you know, that was his, that was his bit of chalk there, you know, and legend of the game, you know? So yeah, we've got a bit of the, the hurricane in the shop as well too, you know? The thing with a sportsman, you never know when it's going to end, you know, and if it does end, I don't just want to, that's it to be over. So putting all my eggs in one basket and playing snooker, it's a high risk. So I think by having different things going on, it, it just helps you relax a little bit more, I think, you know?